Actually, now I'm going to introduce Deborah a little bit again because some of you have been here for the first uh, meetup. So, just a little bit of her. Um, she's a qualified ca counselor, life coach, kinesiologist, musician, with numerous international and national awards to her name. Um, as a harpist, she has been trained with leading international therapists and is passionate about using her music for well-being, connection, relaxation, and um, just listening for the pleasure. Uh, building her music with purpose, she uh, uses of uh, sound wave frequencies, uh, right healing frequencies, music intervals to evoke specific states of being, um, sacred mantras, as a professional, she is in demand to play for yoga studios, events, expos, meditation groups, workshops, retreats, to body up with other musicians. So welcome back. I'm Deborah. now going to demonstrate your personal song. I work with clients directly with the heart and the person. Every note of the heart resonates with a cell in the body. Uh, there's been a lot of research into this. It's because of the vibra-acoustic nature of the heart. Resonates with the cells of the body, the major organs. And we have our own personal song. We can create someone's own personal song. So there'll be um, a couple of notes out of the octave that we will resonate with and then I create the song and people use that for their meditation to deepen the meditative state. Uh, it helps um, um, to repair DNA and put the body in the best position in which it can heal itself and uh, uh, I will often put the personal song with a sine wave frequency. I've got a database uh, so someone may come to me and they have a particular ailment or condition or it could be yeah, something simple, not really simple, insomnia, um, insomnia, that's not simple if you suffer insomnia. The whole range, there's a whole database, everything, just about everything has a particular frequency. So I put that into the, um, the audio file that I create with their personal song. And now I'm, I'm connecting it as well with the personal frequency through the device that I demonstrated earlier. So I was supposed to get someone to come and do a live demonstration and I just couldn't decide who to pick. Does someone want to um, be a guinea pig? That, ah, the, <laughs> Hi. Hi. I need you to sit on the ground. Right. Are you okay with that? And you'll be facing the audience. pressure looking at everyone. <laughs> what I need you to do is sit back with your spine on the heart. You're not going to hurt it, I don't think. You should not going to hurt you. Come back, come back. Further, further, right, I want you to lean right into it. Yep. Yep. I'll take up the, the weight here, I think. Um, and then I'm just going to play through um, the octave range yeah. and I can go through it a few times and I want you to let me know when um, uh, a note that I play resonates with you. That was good. I have not said it Probably not. Yeah. 
Would you want me to go through it again? It was mostly just the bass notes. And that one? That one, that one, yeah. I'll go through them again. So what you've selected is C, E, F, and if you want to translate that into chakras, you've got your base chakra, your solar plexus, and your heart. And I'm just going to play, I'm just going to make up a melody using those and if you just sit back hopefully what you were feeling when I was playing that as well. Cool. That was and that and that was really quick. That wasn't even a full session. <laughs> Thanks Luke. I could be here all night if I had everyone, but <laughs> Not so much that one. Not that one? No. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's interesting, that was a throat sharp right? uh, <laughs> I'm going to go through them. Let's try and like pick three that jump out more than others, if that's okay. Because you know, if you're using pharmaceuticals, you don't use them all at once. <laughs> you know, music is the medicine of the times. Let's. <laughs> okay, we'll do it again. I know they all sound nice because that's the heart. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'll do it yeah, again. That, that's probably yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for something that feels good. You got E, G, you got a minor chord. That's interesting. No, it's not. I like minor chords. So you got E, G, and A. I'm going to just close your eyes. Just relax into this. Ah, uh, solar plexus, throat, third eye. Yeah. Yeah. I had a feeling you were more higher register as well, so I played more higher register here than with Luke. Um, so I, I sort of try and tune in as well. I sort of had a feeling that it was more high register. Um, and, um, and probably the, um, the solar plexus is, is, is like the anchor for the higher, higher registers for you. I don't even know. I think. When I work with clients, I spend an hour with them so we can, I don't know, we can work out a lot of things, <laughs> work through a lot of things. There's something else that's going to say. And the minor chord as well. Um, that's quite significant in a good way. I mean, there's no good or bad. It, it's just everything is different. Um, and um, yeah, did, did you experience anything? I felt um, very light, like I was drifting above clouds, and it was very much a very floaty feeling, almost like fit, like physically floating, not just sort of airy fairy. It was kind of like you were still anchored. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. sort of drifting off so much as I felt like 
almost like physically flying. You know? mm -hmm. I, mean, I felt really grounded when I, I could feel it. Yes. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Miss oh. Kimmy Beck, I'm Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? No. Oh. Hey guys, ask her now. <laughs> I'll try and reason. answer. If I don't know, I'll say so. Uh, yes? The bio thingy that mm -hmm. you were doing before. Yeah. I was reading about something very similar to that that you could actually attach to a tree. I, mean, I can attach that to plants. And, and it plays the, the song? Yes. 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 Okay. And I didn't do that. I was saving that for another time. Um, yes. In fact, I've been experimenting all day with some plants and, and um, a whole range of things. So um, I was telling Andrew on the way up here, um, I, I bought a peace lily and prayer plant, just because they're cool, but prayer, prayer and peace, and with the peace lily I had one flower and I was just gently stroking the flower and a completely different frequency to when, um, so the, the, the sentient nature of the plant and the way it responds and interacts with the human and I, I have recorded it, so I'm, I'll probably end up putting them on my YouTube channel and, and posting it, and it was, it was it was beautiful and, and I genuinely felt um, the love and the beauty for the flower. You know, that's not contrived, it's quite genuine and, and I was feeling that and I even said to the plant, I think you're beautiful when I stroked it and, and the resonance was just beautiful. And when I stepped back from it, it just went back to a standard frequency. Uh, so I've tried it on a couple of different plants. But, um, and I've got more experimentations in place. Sorry, I found it hard to hear the complete question okay, too. Yeah, sorry, that would be better. I don't want to misinterpret what you're saying. Okay, um, what I'm saying is that there are certain frequencies that may have a negative effects on the body. Yes. But a classical music piece may have yep. a whole uh, uh, spectrum of frequencies. Yeah. So some could be good, some could be bad for you. So how does the body react yeah. to that whole sort of sequence? Well, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm still researching this myself, but I think that the, that that then then we would just have to take responsibility, or um, the more aware we are, if 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 we feel that a frequency is is counterproductive to to our well-being, then then we, we just make the decision to switch it off. Yeah. 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 Are you talking about? Something that we're playing, or well, just in general, you listen to classical music and it contains sometimes a full spectrum of music, yeah. of sounds, yeah. and yeah. vibrations. Yeah, certainly. So yeah. watching a bad uh, news channel, yeah, or a good yeah. news channel, or listening or to the show. chainsaw, or yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean that that frequencies, yeah, All frequencies, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't really know the what if there is even a correct answer. I, I, I would just like to think that I, I feel pretty in tune. If I'm listening to something that I suddenly feel uncomfortable, I I would look at the environment around me and, and think, well, is it the music that I'm listening to? But it is a really good point because there is a lot of music and there's subliminal notes in there that could be having an effect on us. But I think that the more aware we are, but the more we we raise our vibrations, and that's become a cliche almost now, that term, and, and but I can't think of another way of putting it. Um, 
And, and I think a lot of us are consciously aware of, of vibrational energy now and maybe the, the more that we do then that can become our protection and that's that's primarily the work why I do the work that I do. It's about helping people to to strengthen their frequency because the other thing that these these processes that I use, they actually help to repair the energetic field that we have. Because the physical body is the last point of manifestation. It's already in our energetic field by the time that we're feeling it in the body. And um, if we can do whatever we can to f repair the, 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 the energy in the, um, the frequencies and the circuits in the energetic field, which is what listening to the bio, uh, in particular the, the personal frequency, that takes us deeper into who we are, into our personal space. Takes us right into our personal space. And this does as well. And, and it deepens, um, it can deepen the experience of, of, of anything that we're doing. It doesn't have to be meditation, it could just be reflection. And, and it helps to repair the DNA and anything at a cellular level. And it is helping with the, um, the energetic, energetic frequency that we have as well. I don't know if that answered your question, but that was the best answer I've got. I don't know if anyone else has got a good answer for that, better than mine, or an addition to that. Any questions? Can I just make a comment that after the session with you, I felt the energy very much from the solar plexus up, and it was very light and kind of thought, well, I'm going to be able to drive. But now it's actually gone down through my body and grounded into the earth. So it's like, it's done what it needed for me, and now it's gone to another earth. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. So you can drive now? Yeah. yeah I feel like I'm tingling all over. Yeah. But it was more concentrated on the top. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> now, the last time we left here, the three of us, we got pulled over to the yeah. policeman for a breathalyzer, and he thought we were drunk because we were on such a high coming from here. <laughs> You could have that experience again. So that was that's important for you. Thank you, thank you, Mandy. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? No questions. No. Message oh, me. Thank you so much, Sarah. That was beautiful. Yeah. beautiful.